Um, I'm Ariana. I'm a sophomore in college. I'm 20 years old, and I'm addicted to Hills Online Forums and blogging. Um, my cyber name uh, is LC for Life. Um, my obsession with the Hills started, I'd say, around season one, and I've been pretty addicted to it for the past two years since. Um, people always considered me to be a really good detective, and I think this is the perfect way to put those skills to use. So, in this episode of The Hills, um, Lauren is wearing a blue shirt, and I believe, as an official Hills blogger, that... Lauren is wearing a blue shirt because she's giving a secret clue that she's still upset about Brody. Um, blue equals sadness, duh. At first it was just a little blog here, a little MySpace post there, but once I started going on to the live chats, it started uh, affecting my social life a little bit. So here's an excerpt from my most recent post at hillsblogspot.com, one of my regular sites. Um, I think that Audrina was foreshadowing a move out when she looked at Lo with contempt and then approximately three seconds later looked to Lauren for support. I think that Lauren was secretly trying to communicate that she didn't want Audrina to move because she chewed her food four times before replying. and. Hey, Ari, a bunch of us are going to go get drinks and dinner in the village. You should totally come. Guys, you know that I have to watch The Hills episode 27 and take notes on the nonverbal body language between Audrina and Lo, okay? I told you that earlier, so. Okay. okay. Have fun. Have fun with that one. Yeah, it's, I'd say it's taken over my social life. I'm Nora, I'm 21, and I'm a junior in college, and I'm addicted to online forums about the hills. My online name is Adorable Audrina 88 I started blogging about two years ago. Um, my relationship with the hills originated with Laguna Beach. Usually I just like to post a comment about um, a certain dialogue between characters, but um, recently I've gotten really into translating these quotes and finding an underlying hidden meaning in what the characters are saying to one another. Here's an example of um, one of my translations. I'm pretty proud of this one. Um, it took me about 45 minutes to write up, um, but the context of it is um, Audrina's talking to Lauren about her um, ex-boyfriend, Justin. So um, this is what she says to Lauren. Until I find a guy where I completely forget about Justin, Justin's always going to be in the picture, I think. One day, I'll be over that guy. My personal translation? I wish Justin wanted to be my boyfriend. Um, I think I find a real mystery and beauty to it. I just read a recent post from um, LC Fan for Life where he or she um, stated that Elsie's nail polish had changed in between one um, scene. And I went to this episode and watched it approximately 14 times. And um, while I did observe that her nail polish did change, um, I really think that she could have possibly changed her nail polish and the, the producers decided not to include it. So I'm going to have to give Elsie the benefit of the doubt on this one. For me, I like to dissect underlying meanings in quotes rather than trying to prove that the show is scripted. Lauren wouldn't lie. While watching a scene in a recent episode where Lauren is on a date with Gavin, I happened to notice that her nail polish color changed. While most people may find this upsetting, I take pride in my detection that The Hills is scripted. Um, although my participation with the show does distract me from my social life as well as my schoolwork and class time, um, I have no intentions of stopping because I have found my passion. 
Does blogging about the hills affect my life as a young college student? Yes, um, but I have to do what fulfills me as a person. And I don't care what anybody says. You know, by writing about the hills, I'm making it part of my own life.